Ovarian cancer causes more deaths than any other female reproductive cancer. That's partly because it's rarely diagnosed in its early stages, and doctors often think the cancer is something else. But as our well being reporter Alyssa Ivinson reports, there are symptoms that can help you get diagnosed as early as possible. That's right, and the symptoms that they can be similar to those for other conditions, which is why ovarian cancer is often misdiagnosed, and that's what happened to a Fort Wayne teacher last year. You never expect your mom to call you up one day and tell you that. Last year, Christy Johnson's mom, Debbie, found out she had ovarian cancer. But like many other women, she was first misdiagnosed. He sent her home and said, you're perfectly normal. And at this point, she was already in a late stage of ovarian cancer. After a second opinion, then surgery and chemo, Debbie's back teaching kindergarten now. But ovarian cancer claims the lives of two out of every three women diagnosed. I don't think the doctor may be looking for ovarian cancer when you say, I'm feeling bloated. Today, Dr. Oz armed women with a worksheet to help physicians consider cancer. Ovarian cancer warning signs are vague and mimic other conditions. Bloating, pelvic or abdominal pain, feeling full quickly, and frequent need to urinate. We showed the sheet to oncologist Shalini Chanini. It will at least give an indication to the physician to stop thinking about ovarian cancer. Adding ovarian cancer to the list of possibilities can help prevent a misdiagnosis, but by the time symptoms show up, the cancer is already in a later stage. The abdominal cavity is a large risk piece, so it can keep growing, and the patient feels nothing, and by the time they're actually feeling, they might be already in stage three. Dr. Oz showed a normal ovary and what it can look like after cancer. Debbie's tumor, the size of a Kleenex box. We do definitely need a better screening technique. And to help fund research to find those better screenings, Christy created the Debbie A. Johnston Foundation. The foundation also helps women as they recover from ovarian cancer. For Stories for Your Well-Being, I'm Alyssa Ivinson.